Welcome. Um, I take great pleasure in welcoming you all to tonight's opening of Ring P. Fasmark. This uh, Afrikaans expression stands as a metaphor for people, especially artists, tying their experiences together, collaborating to inspire each other in their work. This cooperation and collaboration and among the three renowned South African artists, Manfred Zuber, Garth Erasmus and uh, Roderick Souls, um, over the past few months has obviously inspired each of them in a very individual way, as you can see from the variety of artworks that they produced for this exhibition. I should like to call upon Mr. Siraj Rasul, Associate Professor in the Department of History of the University of the Western Cape, to give us a closer insight into the works displayed as well as the artists behind those works whom he knows very well from apartheid times already, as all three artists were engaged in the anti-apartheid movement. And Professor Rasul is an expert in exactly that field, South African resistance history and its perception within the South African public and visual history, even until today. The conventional categories and boundaries of knowledge, of cultural expression and of social representation Within these conventions, I think we have become so accustomed to our certainties that here is art, there is music, and somewhere over there is history. Now, what happens when art and visuality, music and history are brought together into the same frame? are made to work in the same movement and become part of a uniform movement of work. Where the one is not merely illustrative or the other not merely ambient sound. And where the concept of history is not just that of the historical background. This is an exhibition that forces us to rethink these categories. I've been aware for a long time that Manfred Zilla, Roderick Saul, Garth Erasmus, and Andrew Emden have been playing music together inside of their art spaces and studios for a few months, even more than a year. Sometimes with one or two other friends, like Emile Maurice, who is somewhere around. And as a one-time bit musician of average quality myself, I've always known that I was invited to join, but could never make it to the Tuesday sessions. <laughs> but I've been engaging and talking with them about the process and what happens in the aesthetics of the exchanges, in the very sinews and synapses of the senses as the soul soars almost like a trance into an ecstatic state of euphoria when you are exchanging sounds and musical statements 
in communal interchange with that prosthetic extension of your body, the instrument, because it is the body that makes the sound. And music meanings are created out of the simultaneity of the interchanges and expressions in the form of challenges, responses, reworkings, emulations, counteractions, accompaniments, enhancings in the creation of its haunting, wailing, lilting qualities. Now, what precisely is the relationship between the music and the art, between the sound and the image? I think what we are experiencing here works at the most profound level of artists challenging the boundaries of their cultural expression, of enabling the music expression to seep onto the canvas, into the installation, and for the visual rendition to become part of the music. And I'm told that the music is usually unplanned, unrehearsed, with no limits. As Andrew said to me, 15 minutes ago, he doesn't know what they are going to play later. <laughs> Always wanting to escape the tendencies to standardize and regularize through grooves and beats and riffs and rhythms. The effect has been to generate artworks of music that we can see and open the possibility of the visual spectacle of music and the visuality of sound. Music interchange has given rise to a visual communion of social representation. In the sound of the texture, the tactile nature, in the way, in, in the very working of the surface, in the movement of the work, in the instrumentality of the art tool or machine which grazes the surface. <clears throat> Almost like a visual form of the chord, like the fuss mark of the rimpies, of making connections between different threads, emphases, and lines of thought. Now let me talk for a moment about the history over the last 10 years or so, my colleagues and I have been making the argument that the most profound forms of history that have been produced in recent times have escaped from the classroom and the world of the archive and the word, and have been produced in oral and visual genres. What histories, for example, do photos construct? Equally, what histories are produced in the sounds by the mu in sounds by the music of the body this is not the world of evidence and source and the supposed science of history instead it opens up the domain of history represented and experienced through multiple senses a sensory history that moves understandings in you as you smell hear and see it and for the conventional historian, their categories of history are here. Economic history, agricultural history, history of violence, social dislocation, and barricading of urban society. There are profound engagements with indigeneity and the history of race, which seek to challenge racial paradigms and hierarchies of primitiveness. There is even family history and profound engagements with local history and memory. But the art and music are not mere illustrations or sources. They constitute histories and historical narrations in their own right. History unbounded. And they communicate profoundly and beautifully about our humanity, about our struggles and hardships and even about our hopes for a future without race, 
without violence and without poverty. I am sure we are all grateful to Manfred, Roderick, Garth and Andrew. With these few words, I declare this exhibition, Rimpi Fasmak, officially open. Thank you very much, Sarah. Um, with every ex exhibition, we have many people to thank, but I think tonight the most important person that we want to thank is Irina Albers, who kindly sponsored the wine for tonight. And I'd like you all to have a glass of wine and enjoy the exhibition with us. There's also going to be a performance, as we all know. We don't know what we're going to hear, but um, I think the performance, and I'm also not sure when it starts, so. It'll just happen, we don't know. It's we don't going know. to happen, and I don't know for how long it's going to be. Either. But uh, the music is going to be at the back of the gallery and uh, it will be sometime. <laughs> it was just happening. <laughs> Thank you very much.
met by the Americans. <laughs> by Bush. How are you? Ah.